What's up, Fight Fans? This is your boy, Ak. And I'm Barack, the Boxing Bully. And we're back. This is the Zone Boxing Show. Female boxing has been on fire lately. But with all that being said, these women are still trying to step in the cage in the MMA world. We're going to talk about it right now on the opening bell. All right, listen, Barack. On the DAZN MMA show, Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall had a few things to say. Like, these girls do not like each other. We all saw what happened in London when they fought. Great, great fight. Clarissa came out on top. Uh, she also beat Clarissa in the amateurs. So they're kind of one and one. But I mean, oh, God, really... stop that. <laughs> stop on, that. On, hold on, hold on. One hold and on. one. They're kind of one and one. No, they're not. And maybe they can settle the score in stop the it. cage, stop in the it. MMA world. I mean, why not? What's wrong with that? I like it. All right, it. so Usyk needs a rematch with Sean Porter <laughs> because he's 1-0 no, no, in no, the No, no, first off, these Stop women it. are still in the same weight class, right? They actually, uh, Savannah Marshall just announced that she's also going to be stepping into the MMA world. We all know Amanda Serrano is undefeated in the MMA world. And Heather Hardy, who was just beaten by Amanda, is talking about stepping back in the cage. Now, that I suggest against. Now, She's a warrior. Sometimes you have to save warriors from themselves, Barack. And I think that's what we're seeing here with, with Heather Hardy. But uh, let's shift gears. Let's focus on Clarissa Shields right now. And I want you guys to really listen clearly uh, as what she had to say about Savannah Marshall and the MMA world on the Zone MMA show. Take a listen. What about someone you've already fought in boxing? We, we actually spoke to Clarissa Shields about you coming over to the PFL, you starting your journey in mixed martial arts, and we got her thoughts. I, I want you to hear what, what she said about it, if Chase, you can play it for me. Larissa versus Savannah in an MMA rematch. Does that interest you? I slam, I slam the f out of her. You understand me? I go right for her leg. I don't even have to stand up with her. For what? For what? I've been doing MMA for almost two years. I'm not finna stand up with her in there. Soon as we go in there, I'm going right for her legs. And the thing is with Savannah, she wants to do everything that like that I do. She wants her life to be just intertwined with mine so bad. It's like, you're 30, and now you want to do MMA? She doesn't want to be connected to me. She just want to, she want me to, she want to wrestle with me and stuff. So if she want to get in there and she want to do an MMA fight, I would gladly kick her again <laughs> again why not so what do you think of that <laughs> oh i can't wait for air in the face <laughs> <laughs> does, does it change things a little bit g given the fact that it would be an mma fight is there is there more excitement that you can like kick her near in the face and like take her down and punch her on the floor does that that kind of change the feeling towards it at all i think so and i, I think not just only for me i think you know, for the fans as well. Obviously, she beat me in the ring, and you know, I've been chasing that rematch. I don't believe I. I don't think I'm gonna get it. But in the smart cage, it, it kind of lights that fire again, doesn't it? It's, it's one in the ring. You know, is it? Is it? Is it? What? It could she? Could I draw one back in the smart cage? It's exciting. It's really exciting. She's been doing MMA for for two years, and you, you'd never know because she's she's terrible. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Look, Barack, I like this MMA fight. And I know Clarissa is a bit more experienced than Savannah in that world, but we don't know. We don't know what Savannah has been doing behind closed doors. We don't know if she's just trying to creep up on everybody, making people think that she is new in this space and she's been grappling, wrestling, and doing all type of jujitsu on, jiu on the low. We, we don't know that. She's confident stepping in that cage. But you got to give the, uh, the edge to somebody as, as athletic as Clarissa Shields and the fact that she's been in that cage before. But more so than this, Barack, what is it with all, well, a lot of the top fighters in the world, in, uh, in the boxing world, are stepping in the cage. I mean, normally the, the men in the cage want to step in the boxing ring for the big paydays. Why is this happening in female boxing? Well, because of the money. You know, I don't even think you got to be confident. I just think you got to need money. I mean, I'm not going to let you slide with bringing up Heather Hardy and just leaving her, you know, saying, oh, she shouldn't fight no more. I mean, no, I'm just saying I suggest against it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to treat it like Who I treat I? even the men. 
you know, sometimes I might feel in my heart, maybe they shouldn't fight no more, but I'm like, you know, do what you want to do. You know, um, it's not, it might not be safe, but do what you want to do. And I feel the same thing with Heather Hardy. She's a warrior. She, she's earned to do whatever the heck she wants to do. But think about this. In 2016, Heather Hardy made $20,000 the whole year in boxing. In 2017, she made $10,000. That's why now, I think these she women- made about a hundred. Yo, but this one is different. That was 2019. Right. She made 100, but she's never made even 50,000, even 30,000 in a fight before that. You understand right. what I'm saying? So that's why these women are going to the PFL, but that's why, or, or rather MMA, and that's why MMA is coming to boxing. The men in MMA are coming to boxing because yeah, for that's them, question. we well, make more it? money here, but it's why? the other way around. Amanda yeah, Serrano had made it odd? so popular for women it is odd, but Amanda Serrano made it so popular, women's MMA so popular, that women are getting money. Look at Instagram. There are women in an in, in MMA world, like UFC, Bellator, that got a million followers or more. That that's hardly hey, happens way, in boxing. But Rock, just to chime in here, uh, Amanda Serrano has recently been declared as the highest paid female boxer in the world today. So by who? By who? Um, uh, by some list, but I know it's been <laughs> by some by list. Well, well, more power to her because we've been there since she was grinding in the gym. I knew her since she was a teenager in the gym. Well, I seen her in the gym since she was a teenager, and and she, I'm sure she didn't own her own house. I'm sure so she why, didn't. Why own you trying to car. throw a shot at me saying that she's eyes? No, because why? I don't just throw why stuff who? out there without knowing well, well, the Amanda source. Well, Amanda Serrano That's and Jordan. Her, her manager themselves put it out on Instagram. Okay, I'm just saying. Casey even even so. I just want to know the source. I'm not going to just say things without knowing, you know, the facts. That's what well, I'm listen, saying. Listen, I'm going to say it. I, 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 I know you. I do you read it on Instagram. Has. Oh, it's true. No, Let's no, go. No, 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 no. I do believe that she is the highest paid female boxer that is. And look, and she's well, ready to go back in. More than day. likely. They're probably talking her beautiful endorsements that she get added on to that seven figure payday she got with, with Katie. And then she just got probably half a million. The last fight with Heather Hardy. My God. Like, And then she, she's taking over Puerto Rico. Rightfully oh, yeah. so. She's the only Puerto Rican champion right now. I want her to make millions. You know, she deserves everything she's, she's getting. But, she's but it is what but it she's is. She's still Women willing to go back in a cage. Even so. But that's just that's just the fight in her. Right. You know, that's just a fight. And then now when you get used to making seven figures, you don't want to make nothing less. <laughs> so if that's where the money is at, then that's where the money is at. If it takes Heather Hardy seven years to get to a hundred thousand dollar payday in boxing, but the first time you fight MMA, you get a hundred thousand dollars, that's a mm -hmm. no-brainer to go to that world. You know, you just want to go there. Look, she had four fights in Bellator, Heather Hardy, and I'm sure she made more money in those four fights in Bellator than she's made in her, how long she's been fighting? 11 years, 11 year career in boxing. Sad, but it is what it is. We, we need the fans to step up and watch women's boxing. And I think now we're leaning towards that now. We're getting that. We're we getting are, we are. more exciting fights and we're getting bigger names and the women are just sh fighting and, and, anybody. And I'll tell you what, it's it's interesting to me. It's more intriguing to me to watch these women in the cage, the, the boxers that is. And we saw success. You know, we saw Holly Holmes come into the cage and be successful as wow. a boxer at first. Yeah. Typically, you won't see that um, in a male boxer going into a cage and, and being successful. I mean, Holly Holmes beat the top dog in that world. So and and obviously Amanda's undefeated. I know she hasn't faced the top level opposition, but it seems more intriguing. Like I'm excited and, to see these. Girls and she's a jujitsu champion. But the thing right. is, jujitsu champion. But you know what? I think that the men who did it, I, I would have to think about it. James Tony or whatever. No, um, come on. Nobody really Riddick Bo. Nobody really did it for real. You know what I'm saying? Those women did it for real. And, and as far as uh, Savannah Marshall, she, supposedly she said she did some jujitsu years ago or whatever. So I just, I'm just going to give credit to her for wanting to do that. You know, it seems like she's chasing <laughs> Clarissa Shields, kind of uh, like Evander Clarissa, Holyfield was chasing Clarissa. Tyson, you <laughs> yeah. know, but Clarissa gets props hands down because she is willing to fight anybody, anytime. She wants to fight men. She's crazy, you know, first of all. So. <laughs> She's willing to fight anybody. That's She's another show, another cage, conversation. Too. But as far as the cage, I'm excited. I would love to see Savannah Marshall versus Clarissa Shields in a cage. I would I'd love to see a Amanda Serrano fight 
a, a, a top level opponent, at least a step up from what she's facing the cage before. So I'm not mad. Wait, at wait why not rematch Heather Hardy? I know you're saying maybe in the she cage? shouldn't. Oh, yeah, in the cage, wow. wouldn't it's it be a little bit more fair? Heather it, Hardy's no, two and two in no, Bellator. No, no, no. Wouldn't no. it be a little bit more fair? No, like, no. She needs to retire. She's a hell of a oh, warrior. You, you, you don't let the woman that. make no money. No, What's wrong with you, man? No, she needs she needs to find another way to make money because she has to. Uh, you know, you, you got to live to fight another day. All well, right? you go be her financial advisor then. She has to live the rest of her life and take care of her daughter. Oh, and what so she's you want to fight now? for what's the rest gonna, of her life. What's she going to do right. now? Work at Whole Foods? Like, come on, what's she going to do now, bro? All right, listen, that's our show for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace and love. Stay safe. We're out of here.